What's your background? I'm a neuroscientist. You look like a neuroscientist. <laughs> You're not going to reprogram us, are you? My breakup was hard because I loved her. It's hard to forgive myself. Is what I'm doing with my life good enough, meaningful enough? Who are you? What's the deeper truth? Let's do it. <laughs> Reminds me of my good old days. Hi. How are you? Are you? Nice Great. to see you. Yeah. Hi. It's sunshiny day outside. I know, but it's rain inside. Who are you guys? Natalie. What's up? Hi. I'll give you a hug. I'm Whoa. Yeah. Can we do you that? You know what? I have a sweaty back. I'm, I'm into it. Did that it. gross you out? <laughs> How are you? I got a hug too, man. I just oh, yeah, should have started it. Oh. I just grabbed your shoulders. I love this. A lot of hugging on the Deepak Chopra channel. Come on, come on. Here we go. Um, today, I understand that we're going to do some meditation. I believe they have a machine here, an imaging machine. Okay. That can see what happens to our brain waves when we meditate. Do they have to shave my entire body? No, no, oh, they just shave your head. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Hi, I'm Mark Cohen. Let's go. Hey. Hey. Come on. Hey, Mon. Yes. Hi. Natalie, and I gotta oh. do it. She's a hugger. She's a hugger. <laughs> So I guess I'm going to be guiding or writing some EEG during a guided meditation today. Okay. Can you tell me what an EEG is? You generate electricity, your brain does all the time. And the EEG is a machine that we can think of as like a voltmeter, looking at the difference in voltage between any two points on your head. Uh, but in our particular case, we're going to be looking at 256 points on your head, so we get kind of the whole surface. What's your background? I'm a neuroscientist. You look like a neuroscientist. <laughs> I'm just saying that if I was casting a movie and I was like, I need a neuroscientist, and I was looking at a bunch of Polaroids, I would be like, that, that guy. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So something about the rumpled shirt or... You're not going to reprogram us, are you? I wasn't planning to. I wasn't planning to. The, the EEG is... Um, it only listens, it doesn't generate electricity to push into you, so it's all pretty passive here. Nice. In order to measure brain electricity, what we have to do is put contact points on your head. Um, and in our particular laboratory, those contact points are made from a little sponges full of a salt water solution. This is going to be a tight fit. I got a big noggin. The sponges are arranged in a net that's kind of like a bathing cap that you'll actually pull over the head that allows us to very quickly arrange all 256 electrodes distributed evenly over your scalp. And then we're going to plug it into a little recording system and we can watch the time history of the EEG play across a video screen. Is that, is that comfortable? Beyond the fact. Yeah, it's really comfortable. <laughs> yeah, thanks for asking. EEG and meditation have been studied for quite some time and there are a lot of reports to suggest that people increase the power, just the size of the algorithm in their brain. Um, both as a result immediately of starting their meditation, but also as a long-term change in their brains. The meditators are reported to have a higher EEG resting state power. This is what we call a spectrogram, and it tells us how large the signal is at the different frequencies, meaning how often it changes over time. The stuff that's labeled here in gaudy green is what we call the alpha rhythm. So these are um, cycles of 8 to 13 times per second. Okay, so let me take you through something. Would you open your hands up like this? Because I'm going to show you something that uh, is known in the neuroscience literature now as interoception. Intention with a silent mind can actually bring about biological changes. So close your eyes and um, now observe your breath. Just observe your breath and don't manipulate your breath, just observe it. And the best place to put your attention on is your nostrils. On the in-breath, mentally, say so. And on the out-breath, mentally, say hum. 
So this is called the breathing mantra. And the breathing mantra is so hum. This, um, I gather, is Rain's uh, signal from here. Rain has a very, very high alpha power. Um, it's variable for different people. Um, I, as it happens, generate virtually no alpha power under any circumstances. Of course, your mind will wander. It's natural. You may feel sensations in your body. Other thoughts will come. Just go back to Soham. Now move your awareness into your heart and have the intention that you can actually feel your heartbeat, either as a sound or a sensation, and mentally whisper into your heart, peace, harmony, laughter, love. Take half a minute and open your eyes. Could you feel your heartbeat in your mm -hmm. fingers? Mm -hmm. Just doing that brings your blood pressure down, in some cases by 20 points, in some cases 10 points. Most people take drugs for that. Yeah. Also, if you have a headache or a migraine headache, it diverts the blood into your hands. Your hands start to feel warm. See how warm they are right mm -hmm. now? Mm -hmm. okay, you've actually changed the circulation in your body. This is a glimpse into what is called introception. Peace, harmony, laughter and love. And even your jokes will get better. Hey, Buster. <laughs> Watch it. Okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. That was yeah. a great. That was a great meditation. Right. So let's look at my brain waves. Yeah. What did you show? High alpha band power. High power in uh, the range that's associated with meditation. And was it able to show other superpowers that I have as well? Uh, you know, the superpower is like they're a little easier to see if you light a fire with your hands from across the room and this kind of thing well, rather than did, looking at the electrical warm signals. His hands, right? Right? Didn't you? I did warm my yeah. hands. Next yeah. time we'll throw the fire. I'm going to set go. the diamonds in your glasses on fire. Watch this. There's not really very much known about what causes these rhythms in the brain. It's a mystery. During the time that you were just resting, we actually saw what I would say is relatively high power in the alpha band. This is a trait-like thing. Some people have higher alpha than others. And you happen to be one of the ones blessed with high alpha power. So when we yes. look, <laughs> when we were recording, when you were not meditating, very, very low alpha activity. So when you started meditating, we saw this very prominent increase, which was impressive and um, is something that people have reported many times associated with meditation. So it works. It works, yes. Thanks so much for yeah. showing me the inner recesses of my brain. That's good. And your heart. And my heart too. What are you feeling right now? It's like I'm such a loser. <laughs>